Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where today John and I get to speak with Dr. Liz Lister. Dr. Liz, great to see you again. Likewise, thank you. Hey, you know, uh, it's summer's been here for quite a while. I was at the beach uh, this week, almost got burned badly a second time, but I was smart. And this time I actually brought a bottle of water with me. Mm. <laughs> Seems but, pretty basic, um, but I didn't do that the last time. But my question for you is, is water is water the best thing I can do? Because uh, often I'll bring a Coke or a Pepsi or something like that instead. Is that okay? Does that give me the, what do you call it, the hydration that I need? Right, right, exactly. Well, first of all, it's an excellent start and you get applause for bringing your bottle of water. So that's really important. <laughs> uh, the concern that you're referring to is, are you also losing electrolytes? Uh, and the answer is yes, right? When we're hot and we're sweating, we are losing electrolytes. However, the question remains whether we need those electrolyte drinks that are out there. They've, uh, they were invented, you know, I'll say specifically Gatorade because it was invented by somebody on the staff of the Florida Gators, the team that was practicing outside in the Florida heat for hours and hours a day, mm. All right? And they were losing way more electrolytes than you or I spending a day at the beach or even exercising or being outdoors. All right, so uh, mm. this begs the question, forgive me for being ignorant, what the hell are electrolytes? <laughs> and All right, electrolytes. Okay, electrolytes refer to, here, here's some of the basics, and you have heard of them. Sodium and chloride, which together oh, make up salt. Sure. Magnesium, calcium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, these are, these are all electrolytes. Uh, potassium as well, all right? So people can tell when they are depleted in electrolytes. Uh, for example, low magnesium can cause muscle cramps. It can oh. cause dizziness. It can even cause heart arrhythmias, little extra beats or, okay. or feeling, uh, it, it, it does not feel good. No. Okay. But it's, a, right, it's, so not, it's not just in hot weather though, is it? Uh, for instance, I don't go to the beach anymore because I had a, uh, a melanoma that was removed from my scalp. And so I, I'm uh, Mr. White as a ghost uh, kind of dude. And I haven't yeah. been going to the beach for six or seven years. Do I need to worry about electrolytes also? And just during the summer? Yeah. Sure, yeah, absolutely. So when you're doing exercise, even if it's indoors, mm -hmm. uh, we are losing electrolytes. So there are different, people are not all the same when it comes to losing electrolytes, for example, with even with just sweating. So some people sweat more than others when they are exercising. And there was even something that I learned that's called salty sweaters. So people know who they are. So you're you, you're someone who sweats and you can tell mm, that it's really particularly salty so mm -hmm. that actually is uh sodium and chloride being excreted in the sweat that does need to be replenished the question you know but still not so good to go for a sugary gatorade type of drink hmm. so what about yeah. water is, is water uh, an excellent uh, replenishment, or do you really need something that has uh, 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 salt or, or bananas or something that have the missing uh, items? Yes. Well, that's really the important question. And the answer is it's different for different people. Regular water usually will be good. It does have some electrolytes. Water without any electrolytes is what we know as distilled water. And that's um, actually very bad to drink as hydration because mm -hmm. that water, when we take it into our bodies, it'll actually pull the electrolytes out of oh. our cells. Okay, so it's very, very important not to drink distilled water. We use it for other purposes. So regular water has some electrolytes in it. What I recommend is that people can give it a try, see how they feel, as long as they're avoiding the more sugary products, All right? I don't like the sugary, sweet, uh, even if it's artificial sweeteners, I, I don't like the sweet taste in those electrolyte drinks. 
Uh, but I do sometimes use the tablets that you can put in water. It gives it a little flavor. It adds a little bit of extra electrolytes. I don't use even a whole tablet in my entire bottle of water uh, because we really don't need to overdo it. Our body does a very good job uh, balancing these electrolytes. Hmm. So we have to, it's, it, they're okay to use, uh, but with caution. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is good information. First of all, I never knew that my sweat was eliminating a lot more than salt, uh, which is interesting. Yes. Uh, also knowing that electrolytes are that mixture of uh, chemicals or compounds, that's important too, I think. Makes that's me fine. say that I really don't want a Pepsi, but I might want Gatorade if I'm not bringing water. Yes, and, and a, a rough guideline is about two hours, less than two hours of exertion. Usually you're gonna be fine replenishing with water, but if you're doing something vigorous outdoors, you're gardening or, or something like sure. that where people are spending more than two hours outdoors yeah. uh, or really exerting themselves in some way, uh, then they might need to do a little bit of replenishing electrolytes. Uh, the American College of Sports Medicine has a rough estimate of uh, 300 to 600 milligrams per hour. And that's if you're doing really high level, like endurance sports or even ultra endurance, you're training for a marathon. I don't mm -hmm. know about you, I haven't been doing that lately. But those are the kind of scenarios where you're really out there, you're training hard, it's going on for longer than two hours. Uh, then you want to be careful. There's some medical conditions and some medications that can also make things a little trickier. So very important to keep an eye out for sure. that. Uh, diabetics in particular need to be very careful. They're more susceptible to heat stroke, uh, more susceptible to uh, problems with their own body regulating those electrolytes. Mm. So would you say that uh, sort of as, a, as a, a caveat for most of us civilians in this world, that unless we're a professional athlete or we're, we're playing uh, tennis for uh, two or three hours out in the hot sun, that just uh, hydrating with a regular water, not distilled water, uh, should be good enough for most of us, and um, uh, and getting all these expensive, high-powered, probably filled with sugar drinks are probably not necessary. I think that's a great summary. That is what I recommend. People ask me all the time. My patients ask me all the time, and uh, it, it's not just like a simple, quick answer. But I think the way you summed it up, good job. Great. Well, thank you. And John, bring your water to the beach. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.